Hey there folks, this is Dave Live of David's Brains. Let's play a Bioshock 2 HD for the PS4. In case you forgot, last time we took a little tour through Ryan Amusements, uh, adopted a little sister, got some Adam, we, and now we can set things on fire with our minds. But of course, Big Sister didn't exactly take kindly to that, but, well, hashtag no time for BS. So, me and Sinclair are on the run, and now we're in Popper's Drop. Let's see what fun wonders has uh, uh what fun wonders Lamb has waiting for us. Just gotta wait for it to load up. Hold on a sec. There we go. Oh that sounds Oh that's pleasant. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. So yeah, Lamb's got herself a whole new asshole to deal with. And also a big a big horde of demon gorillas waiting for us too. Great. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and of course, a place like uh, a place with the name of Popper's Drop sounds like the perfect place for Lamb to go and set up shop. I mean, well, of all the down on their luck folks, well, of all the down on their luck folks down here, it'd be perfect for Lamb to sucker them. No one's more susceptible than with desperation. And yeah, here's the local governor, Grace Holloway. Blood divides us. It's blood that makes us strangers. But thanks to Dr. Lamb, we're all family now. An alluring torchlight singer in the Limbo Room Jazz Club in her more youthful days, Grace joined Sophia Lamb's cult-like organization during the fall of Rapture. All her life she longed to be a mother, and was overjoyed when she was able to adopt Eleanor Lamb when Lamb was detained by Ryan's agents. But one night, Grace took Eleanor to a clandestine gathering of Lamb's followers in her absence, and Eleanor disappeared. Grace still pines after the missing girl, who was subsequently turned into a little sister after being abducted. She harbors a deep resentment for anyone involved, including Subject Delta. And yeah, Popper's Drop. The worst neighborhood in Rapture. The drop was built originally as... A uh, the drop was originally built as a temporary workers' camp during the construction of the Atlantic Express. Once the rail line was completed, however, the workers found that they couldn't afford to live anywhere else in Rapture, and the settlement under the tracks became permanent. Most residents of the drop lived in the sprawling Sinclair Deluxe Tenement Building. The Fishbowl Diner was a popular lunch counter for working stiffs. A pawn shop, King Pawn, and free clinics can be found in the drop's downtown. Skid Row is home to a once-bustling marketplace for scavenged and otherwise illicit goods. The marketplace is anchored by the reliable pharmacy at one end and the Limbo Room Jazz Club at the other. And yeah, with a name like Popper's Drop, you can tell what kind of place it is. A gathering for all the disenfranchised in Rapture, and just when they couldn't take it anymore. <whistles> and yeah, I've heard that you know Popper's Drop, it's even worse than Apollo Square. And we all saw what Apollo Square was like when Ryan was through with it.
Uh oh. Oh dear sweet mother of god, there's another one! Uh, I'm tucking fastic. Gene Bank and let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, yeah, eight plasmids. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Yeah, killing themselves and offering up their corpses to the little sisters to keep the atom flow going. And worshipping the little sisters like gods. I mean, how creepy is that? A whole bunch of mutated monsters worshipping a bunch of little girls that could do miraculous and wondrous things just because they have nowhere else to turn. I shall smite them in the, in the name of our true Lord and Savior. All praise Madoka! May they all find peace in the long cycle. Yeah, if this doesn't strike you as creepy, I don't know what does. She's mad. I think she might be a little mad.
She just keeps calling you out on your bullshit and how hypocritical it is. Well, private audition. Oh, that was weird. Mr. Bond, it's on our side now. <laughs> Hacker's Delight. With Hacker's Delight, your body converts the Ultra Current from a hacked machine into a powerful healing agent. Hack and heal. My folks lived in the St. Louis Hooverville in 32, and the drop is worse by a mile. Nobody's supposed to live down here, city pissing on us. Never try. Ryan doesn't care, and Fontaine's a damn crook. But Dr. Lamb cares. We're still people to her. She's offering free mental counseling on Sundays. When I go, I get the feeling she's got a plan for rapture. And for me. Someone must be on the property. Are, oh, God. I mean, not just in the head. What 
see what else I can get here. Let's see, plasma slot, gene tonic, electro bolt 2, decoy, winter blast. Ooh, stay in our garbage can. I guess Grace is home, Clearly. but that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Right. Push up steps, play Find a yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. All right, the research camera. I would have just assumed that he got that way with, uh, well, the old standby. I doubt my ammo problems are going to last for long. Especially since I got to go hunting down these big daddies. Old Papa's drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture, but it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some uh, affordable housing. When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in alternatives. I don't favor spending more than an hour or so down here at a time. There ain't a side of the tracks more wrong than under them. Oh, have I got myself some ammo to burn here. Yep, the worst parts of this game is just started to creep on back in. I got so much ammo, I don't know what to do with myself. Oh boy. Pure moonshine. Yeah, bus shot. Oh god, I'm seeing things! Unknown overheard of the mermaid bar in Sirens Alley. Show you who's a hard man, Smash asshole. You. Wait, that came out wrong. Oh. Yeah. 
just you one. <laughs> resolved. The Brute Splicer. The top of the Splicer food chain, the Brute Splicer has grown his body to an enormous size. Valuing raw muscle mass above all else, the Brute Splicer bears down on his victims with a sudden shoulder charge that finishes them off with a hail of vicious hammer blows. You may think you are safe at a distance, but watch out for his temper. He likes to throw things too. And, okay, wait, how is the, why was there a via chamber installed in, oh, I see, that makes a little sense, just a little sense. Well, there's the pawn shop, but it's bolted up tight. You'll have to find another way inside, I expect. To both the inertial pillock. Oh, gee, I wonder how to get inside. Sad. Rest in peace, possible Steve Bloom. Your legacy lives on. What do they expect? You keep enough drug stash in this clinic to spice up a rhinoceros. Of course, every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep them out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the Fishbowl Diner. All right, fishbowl it is. I've got a feeling I'm going to be using a lot of these anti-personnel rounds for a while.
dead cat count or dead cat counter two. grown now, baby snatcher. Even after what you did to her, Dr. Lamb found a way to shape that girl into something perfect, something holy. She's a daughter to us all. Nobody in Rapture will shelter you now. Grace has got the wrong idea. You're not responsible for turning Eleanor into a little sister. Big daddies are just slaves, and you only recently broke free. Well, it's not like I was intentional. Well, that was kind of obvious. Hmm. You know, for a second there, I thought that. The, yeah, I remembered that the. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the door opening to the uh, to the diner is supposed to go, uh, go and blow up, but guess not. those courses will disappear by now. Oh well.
Fuzzy. Dr. Zhang. Poor morons. And yeesh. The, uh, the blood dry from hell. Although, why would they keep a whole bunch of booze inside of a uh, clinic like this? I mean, yeah, for uh, like lack of rubbing alcohol, you kind of get that, but especially for blood donation. Don't you think they have like an entire tr uh, like bakery full of sugar cookies and apple juice you know, to get the blood sugar back up? Oh wait, yeah. Resources. Right. Hmm. Let's see where that goes. Shotgun clip size. Again, at least it explains why there was a uh, uh, the research camera at King Pong. Shorten alarms. What sounds more ominous than a yammering security alarm? With shortened an alarm spliced, you'll be in the clear in no time flat. Sent you, didn't they? 
Mummy has to go away for a while. You shall be staying with Aunt Gracie. <laughs> Mummy! Don't go! Eleanor, you are better than that. Do you remember what I told you? I am very special. That's right. And what else? I was born to change the world. Yes. And when Mummy returns home, the world will be very different indeed. She will make it ready for you. That's from season one of TNG, Bia. All right, well, enough of that. Piercing round. Gonna start do, uh, making regular fights against Big Daddy. He's definitely gonna need these guys. Yeah. 
just need a quick little pick me up. Excuse me. more fluid and dynamic than just a research photo uh, than such the original research camera. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Oh, hello. and eat hypos. Oh, doke. It's my lucky day. Easy now. Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording him. Then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. And action. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splice a tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take them out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. First research. Out! Rude. Yeah, before I take down Jumbo, there's still some unfinished business to resolve. First things first, just gotta go and get myself a little bit of a pick-me-up.
we know what to do. Uh, just gotta go and research the brutes. But first things first, we gotta go and play with Daddy. And I know it's gonna lead to all sorts of nasty business. Hold on a second. Speaking of nasty business, there we go. Well, it's run uh, we're running a little late again. So, until next time, folks, this is Dave Lab of On David's Brain. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and contribute to my Patreon. Link is in the description at the bottom. Oh, hello. Bugger Splicer's increased wall to cap, and the Scrounger Tonic. Alright. Oh yeah, uh, FYI. After Popper's drop, no more Thuggish Splicers. So if we're going to complete the research, we need to go and get uh, research the Thuggish Splicers here and now. Alright, that's all. Bye-bye.